children welcome back so in the in the section that we saw before this we tried to find out if audience analysis is important or not or why do we need to do that now let us look at how to do that what kind of research we should do don't don't get bogged down again by the word research but how do we do this audience analysis again i'll take these examples of extempores elocutions debate competitions and whatever event you are participating in or whatever occasions you are giving this speech to or in now uh, how do you do this research just take a piece of paper and write down certain points that you have to do a research on what are these points who are my audience okay who is this audience i am talking to point number 1 are they my classmates point number 2 are they my seniors are they my juniors is it my family are these people known to me unknown to me am i going to some other school or is is it an inter school event that i am participating in who are these audience basically first thing is i do they do i know them or do i not know them second thing is what is the age group that this audience fits into if it's your class then you know they would be of your age only if these people are junior to you one year junior to you two years junior to you or are they senior to you what is the age group that they fit into all right or maybe you are in standard 5 you're talking to standard 10 children or you're talking to your teachers all alone okay so what is the age group that they fall into all right so first thing is whether you know them or not second thing is which age group do they fall into now take for example you are delivering a lecture to a larger audience from across different schools all right now which are the places these people are from if they are from your own school you know basically okay these are the places that these people belong to now if it's a larger audience who are, which are the places that these people belong to are they all from my region are they all from uh, my country are they all from my state so this thing you have to analyze and understand i will tell you how to do that i mean who do you have to approach to in order to find these details next thing that you have to um, analyze about your audience is what is the language that they understand is it english is it hindi is it a mix uh, is it a regional language that i should be talking in and let me give you a caveat here uh, a, a topic that you should be considering here is language is very important when you talk now this language does not necessarily have to be in english maybe you are talking to a public who does not understand english who understands some regional language that you are acquainted with who understands hindi that maybe you are acquainted with so what is the language i should be talking to with this public with this with this audience that also you need to consider then try to find out and again i'll tell you how what is it that interests them now you would fair an amount fair amount of idea you would have about your classmates about your friends but how do you find out about your larger audience okay so what is it that interests them if you want to talk about science and they do not in a, you know they are not interested in learning about science the entire speech will be of no use because the uh, the objective that you have the end outcome that you have will not be met because they will not be able to first thing connect with you so what is it that interests them as a group do they like sports do they like science do they like uh, arts do they like language so what is it that they like that you have to find out now coming to how you will find out okay first thing since you are in school you will have to take help from the first person you should go to is your teacher your class teacher or your subject teacher whoever has given you this this assignment of participating in any event or doing this public uh, talking to the public go to the teacher he or she and ask them these questions that sir or ma'am from where do i get the, get these information can you help me draft this information few of the things you can analyze on your own few of these things you will have to take help from your first your teachers subject or class teachers then you can go go to your seniors Uh, children who have already experienced these things you can go and ask them that in previous years who are these uh, who were these audience you had spoken to what kind of things that they were interested in are they from our place are they coming from different locations so these data points you can gather from your seniors seniors who are there in your school third people who can who you can reach out to is your parents and your siblings 
your older brother and sister or your parents they can help you that in general you know this is what this uh, audience would like or this is the category that they belong to why is it important is i have seen many children who have ended up talking about something which the audience did not like so there are certain topics you should always keep aside and how will you keep that aside once you have done a study on your audience okay Re uh, political topics re topics related to religion topics related to some practice topic related to some culture that is that kind of can put your audience off you should keep aside but how will you keep these topics aside if you do not know your audience so knowing your audience through these researches is very important last person you should you can reach out to is google go and search in google that if this is the age group that i'm talking to what kind of things might this age group like okay so do a primary research using these kind of resources once you have done this you will get a fair amount of idea of what your audience likes dislikes where are they from what is the age group what would um, kind of comfort them what would what can annoy them so this audience analysis is an integral part of any public speak speech that you deliver in the next section we are going to see what should you be doing with your audience during before or after the speech so see you on the other side again thank you very much